Hey, New Prospect family, Pastor Drew here, RTB 20, or PTB, what, what year is this? PTB 2022 uh, for Sunday, March 6th. Uh, so glad you're with us today. Big day in the life of our church. Uh, voting on Carol Pike is our family and children's minister. So I uh, just wanted to note this one just to get you to pray. Uh, hopefully you're joining us for worship today. If not, um, uh, just pray for Miss Carol. Uh, this will be great for posterity's sake to go back and remember uh, this day was a special day in the life of our church, so that's why I mentioned it in this video. Just wanted to kind of have that on there for history's sake and for you to be praying. Uh, if you're watching this first thing in the morning, uh, we can't wait to see it, church. If you're watching this later in the day, um, praying the vote went well. Uh, but we're super excited about that. So let's pray. Uh, pray through some scripture today, and then we'll get about our Sunday. Father, we love you, and we're so thankful for who you are what you've done for us, what you continue to do, what you're going to do. Father, you're preparing a place for us right now. Uh, you're going to come back for us someday. And Lord, I'm so thankful for your word, the roadmap it is for our life. Father, we're thankful that that this is a church, that that the, the word is boldly proclaimed, the gospel is preached faithfully uh, in every uh, aspect of our church life, all the way from, from preaching from the pulpit uh, Pastor Jay preaching to the students, Father Miss April and Miss Susan pouring in all of our great Sunday school teachers, the men's group, the women's group, Good News Club. Father, think of all the things you're doing through the life of our church, Father, and how the word is being sent forth. Uh, and Father, that's what we're supposed to be doing, Father. I'm so thankful that, uh, Father, as Paul says in 2 Corinthians 5, that we're a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. Lord, thank you for making us new. Father, our sinful selves and, and the old uh, the old way of living. Father, who we were before Christ was, you know, thinking of, of Paul in Ephesians chapter 2, how he described us as just, just so hopeless and pathetic and just broken and lost. Lord, but in you, it's something new. We're a new creation, uh, Father. And, and not only are we new, uh, Father, we have a new community to celebrate, Father, our church. Uh, Father, brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord, we have a new identity as Christ followers, Father, as, as Christians, uh, ones that identify with you and live like you and, and try to serve like you and love like you. So a new community, a new identity, a new purpose. Lord, I'm thankful that you invite us into your mission. You didn't have to, uh, but you chose to use us, Father, your church. You established your church as, as a community, Father, and also as is your mission agency here on earth. Father, the church is a sending agency, and we should celebrate that. We shouldn't uh, build walls around this place. Father, we should be striving to connect with our community every chance we can and those around us. Father, we should be moving beyond these walls. Uh, Father, we should be celebrating every connection we make with somebody with the gospel, whether they pray to receive Christ or not. But Father, just you've given us this ministry of reconciliation Lord, thank you for calling us to be your ambassadors. Father, entrusting that mission to us where we get to go out on your behalf and plea and beg and cry and, and weep over the lost, Father, to, to go out and earnestly call for people to be made right with God, to be reconciled to God. Father, that's that ministry of reconciliation. That's not for the paid professionals. You don't have to be on staff at church, Father. This is every believer in Christ. These aren't super Christians. These aren't uh, anybody special. This is every person who's a follower of Christ has been given and entrusted with the ministry of reconciliation. And what a beautiful thing that is. Thank you, Lord, for choosing to use us. Father, I, I'm so humbled and honored that you would choose to use somebody like me to accomplish your mission here on earth. But that's what you do. And every single part of our church family is part of the ministry of reconciliation. And we need to constantly be um, looking for ways to be your hands and feet and serving. And Lord, all of this was made possible, you know, because you uh, did not know sin, but you became sin for us so that we might become the righteousness of God. Father, all this happened because of this great exchange, our sin for your righteousness. Lord, what a beautiful thing. Lord, thank you. Lord, we thank you that you looked at, at sinful man. You looked at sinful Drew. And you traded my sin for your righteousness. The best deal ever. Father, we couldn't even begin to comprehend some kind of deal on earth. 
We can never get a deal on a car or a house or jewelry or anything, groceries, nothing. We can't, there's no deal better than the great exchange. Our sin for your righteousness, it doesn't ever get any better than that. And so, Father, that truth should motivate us. Lord, I pray, I pray that as we read those words that, that I am new in Christ, Father, I've been declared an ambassador for Christ. Lord, I've been declared righteousness because you became sin for me. Lord, if we're silent about that, then, boy, there's something seriously wrong, right? Oh, we should never be silent about that, and we should never lose the wonder of our salvation, the amazement at, at what that means. Uh, Lord, our salvation is a, is a miracle, no matter what. It doesn't matter if we were drug addicts or alcoholics, murderers, just a kid at VBS. None of it is, is any less a miracle than any other salvation because you took someone from death to life. And Father, that's a miracle, and we're thankful for that. We're thankful that we are new creatures in Christ, ministers of reconciliation, ambassadors for Christ. Lord, may we never, ever lose the wonder of that, and may we never, ever stop telling as many people as we can, woe to us if we are silent about that truth. Father, we love you, and we thank you, and may we never be silent about how awesome you are and what you've done for us through your son Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. New Prospect family, love you so much. Have a wonderful day. Know that you prayed for, uh, and you need anything, just give us a holler at the church office. But have a great rest of your day, and God bless. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.